hey friends and welcome back to another hair tutorial here on our channel putting up with the pompons in this tutorial we have the lovely boo the youngest of the pompon sisters getting her hair styled in these cute and easy zigzag hairstyles so in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you these easy ways to style the products that we use and we're going to talk a little bit about boo's fine curly hair stay tuned So you know the drill, if you are new to our channel, do not forget to hit that subscribe button located right below this video. Come join the family, we would love to have you. And to all of my returning subscribers, hey bestie, hey mama, hey friend, hope you are being blessed and safe as always. So here we have Boo freshly washed and we are doing three hairstyles for her throughout the school week. I usually do anywhere from two to three hairstyles every week and then she gets her hair washed on the weekend. So she gets washed weekly. So I'm going Going in with the Auntie Jackie's Not Having It, it's a detangler cream and I love this stuff. It really softens up her hair. I like to massage it onto her scalp and then we're going to go in and part straight down the middle so we can do our zigzag part. So to create her zigzag part, I like to go in first with a straight part and then I like to uh, create small V's going across the straight part. And I do the straight part to make sure that I don't get too crooked. Like I wanna make sure that the zigzags don't start kind of going a little slanted to one side. And th that's just my way of keeping it straight down the middle. I'm then gonna go in with my Shine Effects gel. It's the Edge gel. I absolutely love this stuff. This stuff smells so good and it works very well on my girl's hair. And I'm going in and applying that to her edges and we're gonna secure this ponytail using some elastic rubber bands with a boo a fine curly hair I do not like using regular rubber bands I prefer elastic they slip out a lot easier for her hair so there's no like added tension to cause breakage or anything like that they're super easy to remove so I love using elastic bands on her preferably and then with fine curly hair elastic bands just work a whole lot better than with thick curly hair like Kalia I cannot use elastic bands whatsoever they do nothing for her so I created these twists um I forgot what they are called there's an actual name for these type of twists but it creates like this like staircase spiral in the ponytail and I thought those those were absolutely cute on her and then I added these glitter bows I purchased these off of Amazon the link is in our bio where you can purchase all the girls hair accessories and our favorite products that we talk about all the time here on our channel so we're moving on to the second hairstyle and this one I wanted to do the same like two ponytail style but we're gonna have one in the front and one in the back so I'm creating a straight part going from ear to ear across the top of her head and then I'm going to create my small V so we can have a nice zigzag part Now I love to talk about growth here on my channel, especially hair growth. So uh, there are different types of hair growth and I try to explain this to all of my moms who like to reach out for hair tips and you know hair care advice for their little ones now hair growth can be shown in either thickness or volume of the hair and it can also be shown in length of the hair so with Callista fine curly hair when it comes to her growth you see it in length rather than in thickness for Kalia my oldest daughter who has type 3 curly hair you see her growth in volume and thickness rather than in length now she does you know you, you can see length in Kalia's as well but you will see volume a whole lot more than you do length like if I pull up a throwback picture for Callista's hair from a couple of years ago her hair was at her shoulders like barely mid back and now it is completely down her back but the thickness and the volume of her hair is still the same density she has very fine hair versus Kalia seems like every year her hair gets thicker and thicker so look for different signs of growth just because you don't see inches doesn't mean you're not obtaining growth and just because you don't have that thickness doesn't mean your hair is not growing either you may be retaining length in your growth
So I'm doing the staircase twist again and it's pretty much just taking two twists and twisting them in the opposite direction that you originally do them to create like this staircase spiral. And as you can see, you have like this like braid on top of a braid. Like it looks like a four strand braid almost. And I just love how unique that looks. I forgot where I saw it and what the actual name is. I apologize. And I've been Googling it for like the past hour and I still cannot find the correct term for this. So I added some sunflower clips in there just to give her a little easter spring kind of vibe and then we're gonna move on to the last style so for this one we're doing the zigzag part again but this time i decided to keep it pretty simple it is thursday she has one more day of school and then it's going to be wash day and not every hairstyle that i do on the girls has to be extravagant and over the top i do do a lot of like simple styles like maybe a couple of pigtails uh maybe a bun here just a simple braid there just to kind of give their hair a break in between the, the extravagant styles that we do for content on our Instagram page so this is just like literally a week of Callista's hairstyles for school now that we are on the last style for the school week I like to check her scalp and check her hair to see if there's any signs like product buildup dry scalp or dry hair that will cause me to have her do an early wash day um, if there isn't anything like that that raises any concern I'll go in with a light moisturizer this one is the texture ID styling cream very lightweight a whipped kind of cream um, it has shea butter and cocoa butter in there as well I always spritz her hair with water just like a light spritz I don't want her hair to be like soaking wet um, this just helps with detangling and re-moisturizing her hair I don't like to style dry or flaky hair or anything like that. So if there's any time that product buildup is being seen on her scalp or hair, I will definitely rewash her hair. I do not believe that, you know, a dirty scalp helps with length of retention or hair retention or hair growth. I'm sorry. I just, I can't get with that. I know that has been an idea floating around on like Instagram and Facebook, but I wash my girl's hair every week. I wash my, my, my hair every week. Everybody gets a wash day at least once a week, unless their hair is in a protective style. And that usually only applies to me and Kalia since Lonnie and Boo's hair doesn't really require protective styling and their hair doesn't hold a protective style. Um, but I get that question a lot on my Instagram page and on my Facebook page. Like how how often do you wash your kids hair do you believe in doing less washes to allow their hair to grow I don't know where that idea started from but no wash your wash wash your hair wash your hair okay I don't understand why people think dirty hair grows a dirty scalp does not help with a healthy hair growth I'm I, I don't get that and I probably will never get that. I wash my hair, girl's hair and I wash myself, my hair as well. I think the longest the girls may have ever gone without a wash day was maybe two weeks. And that would probably be because I'm either busy or I may just be not in the mood and tired and just have other things going on. But for the most part, their hair routine requires a wash day every week. So since I did a simple donut bun with this style, Boo decided that she wanted some glitter in her hair. It was Friday and she wanted to celebrate Friday with some glitter roots and I allowed it. We put in some uh, unicorn snot and it's pretty much just a gel with glitter in it really. And it washes right out that is it for this tutorial guys thank you for joining us on a another video if you have any questions in regards to uh, boo's hair type or her hair routine please comment down below we will see y'all on another one